Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, the Survivalist. We are uh, on day seven. Uh, the horde is two game hours away. Uh, in between, I kind of did a little tidying up uh, <laughs> of my stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat. So we are good to go for uh, the horde. We're going to eat some bacon and eggs, a little grilled meat, and uh, our boiled meat. I have uh, a pipe shotgun that I made just because we had 87 shotgun rounds and that might help <laughs> somewhat. Uh, I got my bow ready, I got my pistol and my AK. I'm extremely low on ammo. Uh, the horde is set to 64 and we are on survivalist difficulty. So uh, I don't know what to expect. Uh, let's put that right here. And I did place the... I had it like right after I ended the last episode, I had a wandering horde coming in that way and I had this uh, robot sludge on me and I just dropped him on the ground and he really made it easy to uh, to get things done. Uh, he knocks him over and I can just like run up to him and hit him in the head. So that worked out really well. Uh, so I might uh, be using him a little bit more because uh, he was useful. Uh, let's see here. So I got a re two repair kits. That's all I got. I might be able to make another one or two, which probably is not a bad idea. I can make two more. Uh, repair. Let's go ahead and make those. Uh, I, I, I don't know how this is going to go. I've never, I've never had success using a bow on Horde Knight, especially in this uh, kind of setup where they can come from any any real direction. Ah, uh, it's mostly guns that are really, uh, the most useful. Uh, there's probably a better way to set up a base, uh, these days, but I like, I like this, and I like having to defend my stuff. I don't like going somewhere and just, if I don't defend it, it doesn't matter, you know? I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but, uh, everything is ready to go. Uh, the AK is going to be our last resort, uh, and then these are the last, last resort, because uh, I've never really used them that much, but uh, we'll definitely, if we have to, throw pipe pipe bombs at them. They, they only do like five block damage, so shouldn't really mess up the base much. So we're uh, almost there. I'm just rambling at this point. And I just noticed I had three of these recog potions, so uh, I am going to definitely use those. I'm going to grab some kind of drink to uh, offset their uh, <laughs> their negative effect. But here, here comes the horde. Uh, let's see where it comes from. They're coming from the front. Let's see if we can pick them off with the... Nope, that's not going to do anything. Let's go ahead and drink that. And drink that. All right. Wow, uh, they just tore, they just tore through all those spikes. Wow, um, that is insane. Out of those, let's go with the armor piercing. All right, let's use uh, let's use a shotgun. We did take the recog, so that should uh, help out a little. anymore alive right there and our little uh, robot has already uh, helped helped out quite a bit all right 
she is not dead. All right. Now we got a bunch coming from uh, the back side here. All right. I think they're dying on the spikes. Another nurse zombie. I'm trying to go just for headshots if possible. All right. Almost got them all. I I just feel underprepared. Uh, what I do from what you know what I experienced in Alpha nineteen. All right, we still got a minute and fifty five seconds left on that recog. Definitely, uh, worth it. Alright, uh, I think that gives us a few seconds to reload. I don't know if there's gonna be a second wave or not. It is, uh, it is the first horde. Let's go down here real quick and see, uh... Not much damage? <laughs> Probably do this with a hammer. Um, just looking here, you know, at the uh, the specific uh, that. I mean, it doesn't look like a whole, you know, a whole lot of damage to the structure. So overall, that's pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, we used a lot of ammo. Uh, I think the horde is done. I'm not gonna jump down yet and <laughs> find out, but uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, drop this uh, cornbread and water off. The recog uh, kind of really saved the day, I think, saving uh, some ammo there. So that is gonna be something we uh, make sure we always have some more of. I'll go ahead and uh, just start unloading some of this stuff. I don't need it on me. Do I still have those frames? We can, uh... We can pop and get those bags real quick. Since I'm pretty sure the, uh... The horde is done. So right here I just had a fake one. Let's see if I can put that right there. this one for some reason. There we go. Uh, the robot really actually helped out, uh, knocking them, knocking them down. So let's see what we got here. We got, uh, I think we got some shotgun shells because that looks like a lot more than what we had. We got some lead, some uh, gloves, and a little bit of food. Not a whole lot of <laughs> loot for that first, uh, first endeavor. Well, let's drop all this stuff off where it belongs. Because I want to be able to uh, go ahead and call it. This is uh, going to be a short one, I think. The hold is done. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that's going to come, but uh, yeah, that's uh, Day 7 Horde Survivalist. Uh, we would have probably died without the recog or the cement barrier around here. Probably cobblestone would have done just fine. Uh, I, I just had enough cement that we bought from the trader plus everything else. So 
it worked out. Uh, I don't know how well this will do on day 14. We did not get 64 zombies. Maybe we got 64 total, but we did not get 64 at once. So I'm okay with that because <laughs> I did not feel like I had enough ammo. Uh, so in uh, four day eight uh, and going forward, we're going to be trying to get a workbench. Uh, so that is where we're going. So that we need to get uh, intellect four which is quite a costly endeavor since we don't have one yet. Uh, so that's going to be where we head with this and uh, try to get a workbench so we can start crafting our own ammo. Uh, so we're prepared for uh, these hordes a little bit better. But uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.